Hey, welcome back. I thought I would take you guys on a little tour of our homestead in the back and show you the goats and take a look over at where the chickens are, if I can find them, because we let them out to roam around in free range. We will take a look at the pigs and then also check out our bunny. And our bunny is just a pet bunny. She doesn't do anything except for get loves and is just a pleasure to have. Um, and then I will talk about some of our plants that we have for back there. And I'm standing where I believe is the um, potential location for my greenhouse, which is really exciting. So we have this whole yard area here that we are going to be fencing off and using for our backyard garden edible landscape, which I'm really excited about talking about the plans for that and what that's going to look like as well. So let's go. Okay, so coming up to the chickens. Oh, it looks like we've caught some of them. They've returned to their coop. And as you can see, they're pretty close to where our piggies are. Loose chickens, chickens on the loose. Hey, chickies. Hi, girls. And then it's been a couple of days since I've collected any eggs. Because every time I come out to collect eggs, there's somebody sitting on them. So we'll have to come back later. And there's Tony, our wonderful, wonderful rooster that is keeping these girls in line. Hi, piggy piggies. Hi, bacon. Hi, ham. Hi, boys. We have a, we have a date for them. We've got a butcher date for them. So August, boys, we get you till August. Hi, piggy piggies. Hi, hi, cute pies. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh. There they are. Good pigs. Good piggies. Woohoo! So, still planning on expanding their area out that way. We've got some fencing, but that is for our next project with the goats. Then over here, we moved our bunny over here. She was on the opposite side of the property, but she was kind of lonely there. So we moved her over here. She is a golden English spot. Very hard to come by, um, but we found her last year. She, we've had her for a year. We love her, Rosie. We love Rosie. So we just moved her over here so that she can have her friends come around and so she can be a little bit more social and less isolated. Here come all the girls and Tony. Hey chickies, did you see me walking? You wanna follow? There they all are, living the life. Hi bacon. It's been so much fun watching these girls roam around the property in free range just looking out the windows from the house and seeing them. It's been really fun. Okay, and then as you can see behind me, we've got lots of woods back there, uh, which is behind where the goats, not the goats, the pigs, I keep calling them goats, the pigs and the chickens. And so eventually we will kind of get sections of that fenced off for animals to go in and forage and kind of clean it up a little bit for us. All right, so walking over to where our big pasture is with the goats. We've got about a third of it sectioned off for them right now with some spools and all sorts of fun things for them to hang out on. And then a really nice little three-sided shed as well. And we just built this little pallet house for them, little structure last weekend. And so far they have been enjoying having another little space to hang out. So the, the future future plan is to have the goats go through here and then the chickens go through here and um, help restore it to an actual pasture. Uh, and then hopefully in time we will get 
a cow to come in and rotationally graze in here. We're gonna add more back among the trees over there. But so far, the goats are doing a fantastic job of cleaning this area up and eating all the nap weeds or you know, stuff that we have back here. So our next project is actually going to be um, expanding them to the next third of this area. So when we moved in, it was just this big huge rectangle from there all the way over. You can see the other four by four there to there and then all the way along. And it just had these three strings of barbed wire which do not keep goats in. So we had to reinforce it with more stakes and split it down and use the field fencing. So our plan hopefully this weekend is to get this section here split in half and get this one all clean, um, all closed up with some of the field fencing that we have here on the property so that then they will be able to move into the next third of this area. And we'll just cut a little gate in for them right there so that they can come on over here and start taking down this. So what we're also going to have to do is get some more pallets and build another pallet structure for them over here, move their water over and get some more climbing structures and stuff for them to have as well. And so we're just going to kind of get them through this whole pasture area to get it prepped and ready to go so that we can seed it and plant it next fall or this fall, I guess, um, so that hopefully we will get more pasture land in here. And I'll take you further on south, I think is the direction, to see where the next installment of paddock pasture is going to be. So just walking down our fence line that we've got here. So we're gonna probably split it up about right here. That's about halfway there. And then eventually we'll get this third over here, field fenced off for the goats to keep them in. And it'll be nice when we get a cow to already have this pasture split up so that we can do some rotational grazing there with the cow. And hopefully maybe with the field fencing around as well, that will be another additional fencing barrier to help keep the cow in because I understand that cows are are worse than goats when it comes to escaping. So as you can see we still have a bit of snow on the ground over in this area. It's been fun to kind of see where and how things um, melt. So our plan here is to then extend the fencing along here and bring it back. So this whole area will be a fourth pasture paddock area uh, that we will be able to move the goats over into. And then that will be eventually for the cow, hopefully. And then you see we have all of our woods back there and I will go take you on the fun little extra project um, that we have over here somewhere that we have been working on the past couple of weekends. It's been really fun seeing this property come to life and seeing the snow melt away because we were only here about a month before the snow came and it didn't really get to um, explore very much with all of the property that we have and everything. So having the snow melting and getting to come in and see is really exciting. And um, I'm looking forward to see what is in the understory in our wooded area what kind of plants are already growing there. And I see lots of potential rose bushes, wild roses, which I'm really excited about. So I'm hoping that that's what they actually are. I'm pretty sure that they are, but time will tell when the leaves start to bud out and I'll be able to tell actually what they are. But here we are at our special little area for the kiddos. Okay, having a property and having kids, we have to create some sort of magical place, right? Okay, so we've gone and gotten some of these solar lights cleared out uh, up to about five foot high of all of the branches here. And we have found a little fairy area, which the kids are absolutely loving. We found a couple of stumps on the property that we brought over to use as little stools. Um, and it just kind of has some fun little 
pockets of areas, mossy rocks. It's kind of a magical little hideout place for them to hang out and kind of explore and have a small little place of their own. So this is, as you can see, they brought some paper out and a pencil and we're doing some sort of something. But so this is their little magical fairyland that we are going to work on making just a fun little space for them. So this is the little fairy hideout and it's gonna be fun to see all that we can do and transform this space for them. I'm thinking that we'll probably get some solar operated or battery operated fairy lights to go up in the canopy here. Um, but we just got fun little pockets of areas for them to hang out in and just a few little bits of yard decor that we're picking up different places. And then it continues on here to the fairy forest. That's what they're calling it over there. And then there is a little clearing way over there that is full of holly. So through the fairy forest to the holly hollow um, is <laughs> where they are looking at doing over there. So we just have lots of fun things here in our woods. It's going to be fun to see what kind of pops up on here. We'll see some deciduous leaves, so it's going to be fun to see what kind of trees we have up in here other than our ponderosas and our Douglas firs is what we have mostly here. And then the previous owners, they did a lot of ATVs, so they kind of cleared out a path here which is a fun little walking trail that kind of goes not around the perimeter of our property, but kind of makes a nice little loop around the property. We still have quite a bit over there as well. And through that way over there somewhere is the Holly Hollow. So walking back this way is over to where the, the goats, not the goats, I keep calling them goats, the pigs. Over this way is where the pigs are and the chickens and the bunny are up this way. And then I just have one more area to show you guys over on a different part of the property where uh, we are planning on kind of making another area for the goats for them to be once we have them finish the pasture res restoration, then we have a really great place for them to move over to and start restoring over there in some woods on a different part of the property. So I'll go take you guys over there and show you what we have planned for that. Hey Mo, how's it going? You having fun wandering around? Do you have more friends coming over here? There's Anna. Hey Anna. Hi, sweet girl. So fun having the chickens pop up from different places. Walking around the property. This is where we used to have the bunny, but this shed was already here and that's where we store our hay for the goats. Um, and the bunny. And so we have decided that this is going to be a great place to utilize the woods back over here. There's some open clearing here as well uh, to be able to fence off. But this is going to be the goat barn area. And we're gonna build another, like an identical lean-to shed on this side for the goats to have an undercover area. And then we're gonna fence around out here and take it all the way over there quite a ways through the clearing and then up and over along the property line with our neighbor there back to the corner of this shed that we have. And I think this is gonna be really great because goats are browsers and they like to eat tree bark and pine needles and all that kind of stuff. So giving them a fun little forested wooded area, I think it's gonna be really great for them to get to have. It's gonna be a big area, so we'll probably fence and cross fence it so that they have a nice area. And then eventually, you know, best laid plans, right? Eventually to fence off up here as well so that they can have another area to go in and kind of clean up and explore. So as with homesteading and homeownership and everything anyways, 
plans always are changing and new ideas come up and so um, you have to change your vision a little bit as you learn your property a little bit more or as your values or your priorities change and so this we've only been here like six months and i've already kind of changed how we have wanted to kind of work on the layout of our property and the areas that we want to utilize and everything and so that's the plan for right now we'll see we're going to put it to paper and kind of see what it looks like from a bird's eye aerial view but that's kind of what we've got planned for right now and we're excited about it but of course it's not set in stone so this could change as we start building more infrastructure and fencing off our garden area and all of that kind of stuff but this is what we have planned for right now and i'm pretty excited about it a lot of it is like years in the making because we're just really working on the pasture restoration with the goats and then the chickens over there um, so that's going to be our focus with the animals in that respect and then we are fencing off part of our backyard area here for our garden our edible gardenscape food forest whatever you want to call it um, it's not going to be traditional like rows and beds and everything like that it's going to be um, more i don't know whimsical I guess is the word I'm looking for and so we're gonna get a shop not a shop we're gonna get like a garden shed and a greenhouse built up in here get our fruit trees planted and some fruit bushes planted and get some vegetables and fruits growing in and around different places and um, it's just gonna be a really fun long process it's gonna take years and years to do but that is the vision so far and I will keep you guys up to date as it changes